From the early days, music has been a significant part of the worship services at Macklin. God had blessed the church with faithful talents and a love for gospel music and spirit-filled singing. The 90s saw the first Macklin Baptist Church choir recording to celebrate the church's 25th anniversary. As more and more families were drawn to the church, it became obvious that the existing sanctuary could no longer hold the crowds. In 1995, construction of the present-day sanctuary began. As the foundation went in and the walls went up, there was great excitement. The first worship service was held on June 2nd, 1996. But as the church moved into its new building, many wondered, would we ever be able to fill such a large building? But the powerful moving of God's Holy Spirit continued. As Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men under me. And that is exactly what he continued to do. In 1997, Macklin began what is today one of the most prolific ministries of the church. The Awana program began and has over the years been responsible for bringing scores of young children to Jesus Christ. The Macklin family has always been a generous family, giving to support other new churches, missions around the world, and the needs throughout its own congregation. Macklin has proven over and over again that you cannot outgive God. In 1997, Macklin Baptist Church was listed in the top 50 churches in Georgia for its contributions to missions. Macklin began the new millennium by paying off all indebtedness for the existing facilities. But once again, the increase of families and attendance began to put pressures upon our existing educational facilities. Sunday school classes were packed beyond their limit. Awana and youth ministries desperately needed additional space to grow. God's people responded and stepped down in faith with plans for a 22,000 square foot family life center. The facility was completed and occupied in 2003. And by 2005, all indebtedness for this project was paid off. Macklin continues to be blessed by the unmistakable presence of the Spirit of God upon our services and the blessing of God upon our ministries. As a result, our church continues to draw men and women, boys and girls, to the Savior. And that's the main thing I guess you could say about our church is we let Jesus be the main uh, purpose of why we're here because we have to come each week to be fed. So, uh, and a lot of people come with heavy hearts and they get their burdens lifted when they're here. But I think our main focus is the fact that we know Jesus is here. Today we stand at another crossroads of ministry. God has opened doors of opportunity and it remains for us to decide if we will follow His leading. As we wander in His graciousness toward us, we look forward in anticipation for what lies ahead, all the while remembering we've come this far by faith. Macklin Baptist Church present. There are some of the challenges that are, that are involved in, in, in keeping Macklin growing are, first of all, just the physical space we have. Uh, we're running out of space. It's a pretty good rule of thumb that when a room is 80% is full, it's full. And if you aren't doing something to figure either to create a new class or to, or to get more space, then you're basically limiting your growth. And so we're getting very close to the place at Mackland in terms of the educational ministry where we're beginning to limit our growth because most of our rooms are beyond 80% full. Just as Mackland has experienced blessings in growth and prosperity, we are currently experiencing a great need, the need for additional volunteers with servants' hearts to help meet, build, and expand our current ministry needs. To date, Macklin has over 15 ministries that provide opportunities 
for people at every age to serve God and get involved. As we begin to look at these ministries and the opportunities for service which they provide, there is no better place to start than the teaching arm of Macklin Baptist Church Sunday School. We have, we have been blessed as a church with a Sunday school that has been growing. Uh, nine years ago, our Sunday school averaged in the low 300s every month. We're now in the low to mid 600s every month. Nine years, we've doubled. Nine more years, 1,200, 1,300. That's a problem. Uh, right now, with, even just with 650, let's say, a month, we're almost at our maximum of space. We've had to move and juggle classes. We now have the youth taking over the gym, which is great. You know, it works well, but it also poses the problem of having to set the gym up, tear the gym down for Awana, for upward basketball, the other activities that happen. So there's a, there's a small uh, problem there that we have run into. Class is growing, which is a great thing to have, but when your room is on, when your room holds 20 people and you've got 35 in your class and you're squished in, you've got to put them somewhere. So that has been a problem. We've, we've taken rooms, our Family Life Center, we're lucky in a way that we have rooms that have dividers which expand. We've expanded, we've closed them, we, we've moved people around probably three or four times in a year before just to make room, not maybe for that one class, but we've got to move them to make room for another class that's growing. And it's a great problem to have, but it's a problem that soon is going to manifest itself into where we're not going to have space for them. Over the past five years, our average Sunday school attendance has doubled from 320 to 642 members, making this area of ministry our fastest growing one. In that time, we have also seen the addition of several new classes created to minister to unique groups of members such as singles one and two, parents of young children, and growing families. Due to the fellowship and discipleship forged through participation in Sunday school, it has become the cornerstone of Macklin's ministries. Another opportunity to study God's Word in a more intimate setting is through discipleship training. These classes are designed to fit everyone's busy schedules and are available on Sunday afternoons, Tuesday nights, and Thursday mornings. As our church body has grown in size, our members' personal needs have grown with it. As these needs grew so great in number that they could no longer be adequately met by staff and deacons alone, our congregational care ministry was born for the purpose of meeting such personal needs as making visits and phone calls to our shut-ins, as well as to those in the hospital, assisted living centers, and nursing homes. On a weekly basis, these volunteers build and maintain meaningful relationships with those they serve by doing everything from making arts and crafts to distributing gifts and cards and to leading prayer and devotions. While Macklin works diligently to minister to members inside the church, we also strive to reach out to our surrounding community. We accomplish this primarily through our God Rewards Our Work ministry, better known as GROW. This ministry is aimed not only at making house calls to first-time visitors, but also at making contact with individuals who have recently moved into our area and who may be looking for a church home. Since its inception in 2003, it has proved to be an effective outreach tool. In addition to congregational care and grow, other tremendous outreach tools at Macklin are our WOM, Women on Mission, WMU, Women's Mission Union, and Brotherhood Ministries. Each of these reinforce the importance of fellowship, Christian encouragement, missions, and being Christ-like by allowing God to use them to meet the needs of others. Our children's and youth ministries are vital parts of Macklin. 
According to research by George Barna, the probability of a person accepting Christ as Savior is highest between the ages of 4 and 14. Religious beliefs are largely set by age 13 and statistically don't change much in adulthood, emphasizing the importance of God's command in Proverbs 22.6 to train up a child in the way he should go, for when he is old he will not depart from it. In setting out to fulfill this divine decree, Mackland has been blessed with dedicated individuals who work faithfully each week in our nursery, children's church, Awana, RAs, GAs, and various other areas of our youth and children's ministries, all in an effort to teach our young people to come to know, love, and serve our Lord Jesus Christ in a personal and meaningful way. Under the umbrella of these ministries, we also have specialty areas such as Vacation Bible School and Upward Basketball to reach out to the youth of our community with the Gospel of Christ. Well, the WANA, WANA program here at Macklin Baptist Church has been a great ministry uh, for our youth, not only our youth, but our um, children as well. Uh, AWANA is an acronym for Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed, which comes from uh, 2 Timothy 2.15. And that verse is study to so show thyself approved unto God, a workman that does not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And that's what we're trying to get um, to instill in our kids is, is the word of God. And um, uh, they, um, they, they actually have, we actually have five clubs, six clubs now within our club uh, that uh, have the various ages from uh, pre preschools, uh, which are three, uh, two and three year olds, all the way up to our high school program, and um, each club is um, um, each club is specifically designed for their own age group with the, the verses that they go over and the verses that they study. Um, it's it's very important for them to memorize, and that's basically what one one is all about is scripture memorization. Um, and then you have you have the spiritual growth, which is not only just in the kids and the leaders as well, uh, but then you also have the physical growth of the church. Um, the WANA program was such a a blessed uh, ministry that we went from being downstairs in makeshift areas and even running our games out on the the asphalt to having this new facility built, which is specifically for AWANA. Um, not only that, but then it perpetuates itself because Awana uh, has brought the new facility which having the new facility leads to other uh, opportunities to minister like in the upward basketball program so all of that just just ties in it's, it's like when you're giving an offering at, at church you you pray that you know that if I give a dollar God will use it 10 and 15 fold well that's what he did with Awana is he gave it to us he says you go to it and use it prayerfully we did the stewardship the best that we could, and now here we are doing other things because of the initial investment in Awana. Good timers. The name says it all. This group for our more mature saints is partially comprised of those who laid the foundation on which Michael Baptist was built more than 40 years ago. Designed for members of the age of 55 and up, the Good Timers meet monthly for outings to encourage fun and Christian fellowship.